let's go to the talk, also known as the view, also known as the chew, also known as the, the real. word, the real, the word, the talk. The talk. Oh, it's just me, Cheryl Underwood. <laughs> How did you feel? What did I you feel think? great. And you thought your oh. performance was exactly uh, first the off, first first off, He brought yeah. the same oh out. He's wearing, and now he's wearing a kimono with chain mail. Yeah, he looks like the gay son of Jack Sparrow. It's fucking unreal. I mean, uh, Cheryl Underwood looks like Wesley Snipes in a wig. <laughs> Dude, his braid down the front of his hat. The, nothing yells mental insanity like the braid in the front of his face. He wears a lot of fucking makeup, too, man. Does he always get dressed at a Renaissance festival? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Yentl. Yeah. Why is he dressed like that? Why is he wearing... At the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Uh, you want to see this video? We're talking about Corey Feldman uh, talking about the backlash on the talk, also known as The View. Also they known were as calling the me Kylo Ren. And it's weird, because I haven't moved things with my mind since the 80s. <laughs> I feel like I'm more of a Skywalker type, but I don't know. Look at my braid. Is it a hair from the back, from the front? It's not a braid. It's just like a greasy, wet piece of hair. It's got a front rat tail. I get it. When I had long hair, I used to look at a nice sliver falling, falling down in front of my face. A nice trussle. A nice Johnny Depp sliver. <laughs> or tress. Tresses Tr of hair. <laughs> Tresses of hair. <laughs> that almost sounds old English. <laughs> As Jay awoke in the feather bed with a tressel of hair. One tressel of hair fell upon his daffodil cheek. One, both women passed out from the night of lovemaking and eroticism. Hey, maybe some of you bitches want to be my new angels. Are you guys all sleepy from the mutton we ate at the Renaissance Festival? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sharon, I heard Ozzy's putting you out on your fat ass. Want to move in and put on a halo? Want to be an angel? You'll be the lead angel. <laughs> Every time an Aussie gets single, a Sharon gets her wings. performance was exactly the way you wanted it to go. Yeah, for the most part. I mean, I'm very, very critical, so I always beat myself up after every performance. Uh, so there no, was a few don't. things that no, I could have No, you don't. You would have better, improved but... had you done that. But yeah. Aside from that, I mean, for the most part, I thought the girls did an amazing job. They sounded great. They looked great. <laughs> they worked very hard. They worked very hard. These girls were right. sucking dick for crack four months ago, yeah. so they're on good track right now. You know what I'm talking about, Green Mile? Uh, oh, it's Cheryl Underwood. <laughs> That's my fault. Off good, and it was a good live performance of it. And by the way, no lip syncing, and the girls were really playing those instruments. Those girls were not playing the instruments, and there was absolutely... He was singing to a track terribly. Yeah, there's no way... I mean, these... Idiots are just clapping because they just want to feel good about themselves. No, they just they'll do whatever. No, like they're they're just following the lead of like a show like this. I mean, I watched this when I was jogging the other day. I'm not bragging. I'm okay. jogging. Hey, just getting into that. And this was on the TV just in front of me. Guess what I have it. And I just like I it just it was like on, so I just kept it on. And like, and you, was, and I do, love it. Everything they do, it's like it's like now you know I love psychics, and then like they all clap for uh, Rose we, Roseanne's kid. Wait, can we? Uh, can, oh, Darlene. Yeah, they're all like they're all like I like I like you know I love psychics, and everybody claps for that. Can we start doing that for everything? The bonfire. Can we start doing a bonfire like that? A cla yeah, but then but then Aisha Tyler, you know, she's like you know, so, oh, you know, I think that's spooky, and then like so that, but then Black people cheer major. big for that. It's like. And it's like, well, I think it's real. Big clap because, like, well, you know me. It's like I think it's a bunch of hooey, and then that's a, that's another applause. But it's like they, they don't, they're not following. They're just like, they're idiots. They just follow the thing. This show's particularly pretty shitty. Well, let's see how they handle the fell dog. But people love it. Corey, I'm not many the audience people, for this, including me had not so you know many kind things to say and you posted an an emotional facebook wait rewind did she say she said something shitty about it yeah. yeah you know what good for you sharon osborne oh no sharon osborne if nothing else is gangster yeah she's no boss she went you ever see her go head to head on on stern with the fucking insane clown posse that was crazy well including me had not so you know many kind things to say and you posted an an emotional facebook uh, bitch live made video, video. <laughs> and then you took it down why did you take it down well i took it down because i wanted people to see the real emotion that i was feeling mm -hmm. because i think that you know pause it again in today's world he also he has to figure he's speaking to the wife of ozzy fucking osborne about believing in his music that's balls do you know what I mean? Like such an accomplished fucking musician. Yeah. 
Do you know what I mean? For, for him just being a guy who's trying to eke into okay. music? Uh, Sharon, oh, I don't know that you were talking to the Jedi. Why is, is the man dancing? Hey, Sharon, you know I was always more of a hamster guy. Sharon, is that Doc Ice? What's <laughs> Doc Ice doing on the Today Show? I thought he died in a plane crash like Randy. Did you get to, were the other members of Houdini there? <laughs> is all of Houdini there, Sharon? <laughs> Is that Houdini? <laughs> uh, did you meet Grandmaster Flash in the Furious Five today? Sharon, come in the room. I think Duck Ice is on the TV. <laughs> Sharon, why didn't you tell me Duck Ice is going to be on the show? He's dancing with that lady boy. Uh, I would, I would have liked to know that. I <laughs> I'm a dog pissed. I would have liked to know that. I would have set, <laughs> set the VCR. To DVR, honey. Honey, Ozzy. Oh, uh, all these stupid remote controls. Ozzy, oh, oh, it's a DVR, Ozzy. Oh, Ozzy, <laughs> oh, you know the VCR is a thing at the back. And you know that him and Corey were passed around when they were kids? <laughs> oh, yeah, the way he's dressed, I'd like to take a shot at it, if you know what I mean. It reminds me of a younger me. Where's Doc, where did Doc Ice go? <laughs> this song could use a little less fell dog, a little more Doc Eyes. Oh, did he just say, watch Corey twerk? <laughs> Watch film and twerk. I, I can't believe Snoop D or Double G has something to do with it. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's keep it. People always kind of hide behind their publicists. They hide behind their masks. They hide behind statements and quotes. And you never really see how it affects somebody's emotions. Oh, I wanted yeah. people to see I'm not a fake. I'm a real person. Mm -hmm. And this affects me. I am made of blood and flesh. And I cry. <laughs> Sharon, I want I want Feldman to open up for me. I oh, he's flesh and blood I want him on the tour. I want him on the tour. Uh, I haven't seen a crowd reaction like that oh, since 1977. In professional wrestling, they call that a Road Warriors pop. <laughs> and people haven't gonna pop like that since the Road Warriors, and they came out to Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't get a chance shut to up, say darling. what I wanted to say. Wait, hold on. That's great. He goes, shut up, darling. <laughs> shut up, darling. You know, we were both on TV at the same time. Well, I was in movies. You were on that shit show. I was more of a DJ guy. Where's Becky? Talked about it on the show yesterday. I didn't get a chance to say what I wanted to say because we were running out of time. But I think it's easy for people to find fault with performances, and they're sitting at home not having the bravery to do it themselves. So I really uh, actually, you know, pause, pause. it's not brave if you're good at it. Yeah, you know what it is. It's called your job. <laughs> wait, wait, back it up a little bit. Look at we always pause it at the perfect. He always has to be play from there. The bravery to do it themselves. So I really commend. You. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think when you were watching our show. I didn't see the show per se, but I did see a clip. And I wanted to say this to you, Sharon. Yes. Come on. One of the things that, <laughs> one of the things that you mentioned was that, you know, I didn't have the cred because it's not like I'm some guy who's been doing this for thirty years and I don't have all this, you know, library of music or a big hit. Well, first of all I want to say that right now, Go For It is number thirty two on the Billboard Top Forty chart. <laughs> Down here, this kid's got real heat. <laughs> dude, the explosion of excitement on these stupid talk shows, dude, are so funny to me. <laughs> Number two, I brought you a copy of my very first vinyl single from 1989. Wow. 30 years ago. Bring it up. Wow. <laughs> and 
and a copy of all of my CDs that I've put out through the years. Okay. There's one for everybody. Here's a coaster. Holy for everybody. shit. How the fuck? Pause it. Jacob. How do we not have the Corey Feldman CD catalog? Why do we not own that? Is that crazy? I need you to go on Amazon with Comedy Central's credit card. They bought us ghillie suits. Right. I need you to buy us two I'll Corey have it Feldman. By the end of the week. Two Feldman hoods. You're right. Two Feldman hoods. We need hoods too. We need hoods. <laughs> we can't listen to these about the hoods. I I don't know how to go for it without my hood on. <laughs> I can't just go. For, I can't just well, go you for know, it. Say you don't hood. understand. So I've been going for it for years. <sighs> And also, here is every album I've ever put out. 17 platinum hits. <laughs> with Corey Sings the Hits, you're going to get all my classic hits. Like, what's up with the youth? And what's up with the youth? And what's up with President Clinton? A little lesser known one I didn't do when I went right wing in 98. <laughs> I went super right wing pro life in '98, but people don't remember that. I was more of a Dukakis guy. I thought he made great points. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck, that's great. Hey, no moonlight. No moonlight. Uh, I've been doing this for a uh, just because you've been doing it doesn't mean you don't suck at it. Hey, if I'm, I'm a, I mean, can we just bring up? Can, can you just do a Corey Feldman on YouTube? Just like his dial up his music. First of all, is this, any of his music in the system here? Just Ascension Millennium. That's it. That's all we like. Oh, I mean, that is a big. But you hit. put it in the system. No, somebody actually did it. Corey Feldman did. He That's came in. He put it in. <laughs> That's why he's always dressed like a ninja. Sorry. He came in here and hacked into the system. I got to sneak in. Hey, guys, it's me, Feldog. I'm in the mainframe. I'm a janitor. I'm, I'm just lawn. helping clean out. <laughs> I'm lawnmower man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sleeping somewhere else, but really, something else is happening. I'm actually part of your mind. I'm the better version of you. You got Love Left, 92, Still, Still Searching, searching for, for Soul, soul 99, hilarious. Former Child Actor, 02. FCA, that was a good one. Technology, Anology. Uh-huh. And Angelic to the core. No E on that? Core, like his name. <gasps> oh. My. My Christ. That is genius. Mother. Fucker. First off, he's been making music since 1989, which in, I think he said 89, and then he said... Well, it was my first 45 single. And then he said 30 years. He goes, this is 2019. That's why I'm wearing the hood, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're all oh, in future clothes. Did I set the time? Did I set the year wrong? Oh, no. I think you guys just found out that I have a space-time continuum <laughs> in my garage. One of the angels built it. Hamster left it for me. It looks like a cardboard box from a refrigerator, but I go inside. Oh, here's another song? I think with this one. So let's uh, get some funk in there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Back that up, back that up, back that up, back that up. I want to hear the talk. Yeah, I want to hear the beginning talk. All right, we need to make people think with this one. So okay. Oh, let's come get some on. funk in there. There you go. Sounds good. All right, we need to make people think with this one. So let's uh, get some funk in there. Jay. There you go. Sounds good. <laughs> what child? Pick it up. Yeah. Uh, uh. 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 Yeah. I've been thinking about a problem. Selfless giving has been forgotten. Problems be. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Corey. You want me to bring this funk and you sing it like a damn asshole. I've been a studio mu musician for over damn 55 years. Ain't never heard a man sing as terrible as you. Stabbing a fellow man is a Wow, man. He is just, he's, he's not, he's not See, talented at music at all. That's but here's, the, that's and it. that's, this is that's the whole it. reason we're making fun of it is that you can't. You're not allowed to say someone sucks anymore. No, he dresses like Green Arrow. He pulls that off. But he cannot absolutely fucking... You can't just sing. say someone stinks. Go back, Christine. Throw a dart. I saw one's called, like, what is a dog? What's that one? Let's hear that one. Did you record this in a bathroom? In fact, Rick, Rick Rubin produced every one of his albums. Yeah. <laughs> like, Holy shit.
What is this? Yeah, you know what? He's like... Corey Feldman really is like if the Jolly Cat had a, a, a very successful childhood. Yeah. He's successful Jolly Cat. Successful Jolly Cat's hilarious. I mean, this is crazy. He's crazier than a shithouse rat. A <laughs> yeah. you rat in the way you are. Um, let's go back to the, the talk thing here. <clears throat> yourself you gotta back up what you gonna do and you got a lot That's of support right. from from other celebrities pink tweeted uh well i love you, you and Corey feldman and i know how much it takes to get up there and do your thing keep your head up and know that you're loved and your stand by me so co-star sweet. jerry o'connell tweeted proud of you at Corey feldman so i just want to say everybody we win it whether we get it or not we, we win it do you uh, don't you think too it we're it's not like with, we're everything not is down to individual taste. Of course. Okay, it's like looking at a painting. Some people think it's a masterpiece. Some people uh, think it's Oh, uh, Sharon, how you doing? I hate to interrupt. Dan Soder, uh, MTV News to Guy Code, also from the Bonfire on Sirius XM. Um, this isn't a matter of opinion. It's pure shit. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's like... It's shit. It's, it's soulless mute. It's so bad. But here's the thing. is like, yeah, he did it, but that's where we're at. We're just giving partic participation trophies. Yeah, this is like a weird like. If this hey, was man. Paris Hilton, if this was anyone else where you could just shit on I mean, if it was bad and it was on the Today Show, everyone would take a bat a beating. Was he forced to like fuck you know what I mean? Was he was he forced onto the show by a producer, maybe? Like I don't know. I, I don't think know the, the four fuck. I think the four of them could choose if they want somebody on or not. Yeah, well it's not personal opinion. It's is if you think this is good. If you honestly think this is good, 844-266-3399. If you honestly think that Corey Feldman did a good job, I guarantee no one will call. No, no one, someone will call him. But just to be a dick, I mean, Andy's going to have to suss that out. But <laughs> To be funny. Yeah, How's fu no one went to talk to the game yet? How is it possible? Jacob, go find the game. God damn it. We're going to play the game, and we're going to play the rest of this clip. Play the rest of this clip, and then we'll take a break. Everybody was giving their opinion overly because you are who you are. And so everybody wanted to weigh in, including art, me. Art is and subjective. We all exactly, know this. So exactly. I, not everybody's going to love what I do. No. And for those who don't like me, they've got Bon Jovi. You know what I'm saying? There's, <laughs> oh, that's the choice? Well, oh, Billboard likes you. Billboard there likes you, go. you all right? You get the check, Corey. That's all they count. <laughs> not you yet, got but, the check? Not yet, but those 10 million views on the internet are definitely going to add up. So thank you to all the haters. <laughs> Uh, you're welcome, because we had a whole show that uh, was a five-minute clip, so thank you, Corey. Yeah, really, thank you. I just fucking I really hate that shit, because they're not being honest with them. That's false. That's all well, false. Well, no, I believe that Cheryl Underwood wants you to do you and make that money, yo. <laughs> I just think that's all Yo, you just got to do yo. That's all fake bullshit. They're just, they... It is. They're, gonna, they're doing what we said we didn't want to do. Yeah. They're, they're pandering to a mentally ill man. But they don't mean it. At they don't all. mean it. It's like it's the same as the guy going, "You didn't tell me Doc Ice was going to be exactly." It's the exact same lip service. Corey, you did not tell me Doc Ice was coming out. Absolutely. Here.